All right, guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, we're going to be playing The Torture House. In September 1994, Victoria Atkins, a young aspiring model, was traveling through Cook County, Texas, in search of a job opportunity when she suddenly disappeared. While it was initially believed she had simply become lost on the road, days passed without any sign of her. But what no one could imagine were the horrors of the ultra-violence she would experience in a place that could easily be described as hell, the torture house. Okay, so this is us. We're blonde and beautiful, guys. Blonde and beautiful. I'm exhausted after this trip. I just want to go to my room and put my things away. I thought that said 90 for some reason. My key has a number 107. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, this is cool, dude. Okay. So we're tired. We just want to go to our room. Elevator. Yep. There we go. Just had to hit the E button. So 107 is our door. This looks like a very apartment, not gonna lie. So that's 103, so we're a little bit more down the hall here. 106, 107. It's my room, 107. It's locked, the key is in my pocket. All right, get it. Is there like an inventory? Oh my God, of course. Yes. Whoa. All right, so it's very interactive. I'm finally here. Where's the bathroom? I can't carry this backpack anymore. Bedroom, sorry. So I'm sure our room is here. Oh, there we go. I don't have anyone to call right now. All right, so what do I do now? Drop my backpack or something? It's in here. Caution, maintenance in progress. This room is isolated for maintenance. For your safety, please do not enter. I should put my things away in the bedroom. Okay. How do I do that? Okay, there we go. That's it. Now I can finally read that letter. Collected letter. Dear Victoria, I hope this letter finds you well. How are things going? It's been a while since I heard from you, so I decided to send another letter. You're always in a different place all the time, so it's hard to know your exact address. In your last letter, you mentioned receiving a proposal from a magazine. I hope things are going well. Just don't get discouraged. I know things aren't easy for you, girl and how hard it is to find an opportunity for this type of work that isn't, you know, men's magazines. Huh. <laughs> Your friends always ask about you. You should write to them too. I always hear them telling others how you took your car and set off on your adventure to chase your dream of being a model like in Hollywood movies. Oh, I guess now I know why you don't write to them. I know you don't want to disappoint them. Mom and dad are fine. Mom misses you. And dad doesn't talk much about you. You know how he disapproves of your idea, but he loves you. And I love you too, future Miss America. With love from your sister Lauren. I've been on the road for like hours. I have to take a shower. Is this it? There it is. Okay, well, this is a bath. It's not a shower, so you lied to us. I feel like something very scary is what can happen right now. Holy shit. Okay, that was creepy. Ouch. A key. 
collected key. I need to get my clothes from my backpack. So, what is this, like a hotel or something, or? Yeah, this looks like a hotel. So we found a key, I guess we didn't know was there. What? Where are my clothes? I haven't... I can't have forgotten them. This can't be happening. I'll buy something to wear tomorrow and put this one in the tr in the wash. I think I can wear this for one more night. Okay, I'm a little confused. Backpack? So what now? So we have a key. Okay. So we can't go downstairs. We have a key. What was that? Shit, someone's on my door, bro. Oh, no, no, no. F*** that, dude. Hello? Oh. oh my god, there's a note. Someone stuck a note at the door. Due to heavy rain, we need to isolate the parking garage to prevent flooding tonight. Everything will be back to normal by morning. Okay, that's fine. Not alarming at all, that's okay. That can happen. What if we... Uh-oh, I know exactly what to do now. Bro, that's what we had to do the entire time. What the hell is this place? Table. Table with some tools. There's a ladder. TV remote. Okay. Got that. I have to be careful not to end up falling into this hole. Just an old ladder. Can I fall into that hole? Oh no. Okay, so now we have the remote. Guess we could turn the TV on. There we go. Texas-sized, of course, with 48,000 square feet of floor space. And this is also the hangout for a new breed, the urban cowboy. I'll give you my interpretation okay. of the, the urban cowboy. Uh, it's a guy that drives a pickup truck that uh, has a gun rack in the back that uh, usually works maybe in a chemical plant or uh, in a regular job somewhere in the city and comes out to get on Friday and Saturday night, chases the gals with the tight blue jeans on. Did we get drugged, do you think? Oh no, we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be miserable. Damn, I must have fallen asleep. Alright, what do we do, man? Uh, Door now must be jammed. I didn't go in. I shouldn't go in there anyways, okay. I'm a little confused, bro, like... They should just be like... Should be like an objective or something. Someone's at my door. Bro, what the hell? <gasps> oh! What the f Is that it? Bro, that can't be the video. Oh, okay. It's just an intro. My arms. I can't move them.
Let's see to break free. I could spam me. Am I being gassed to death? Dude, I'm spamming it. Uh oh. Bro, I'm dead. Yo, what is going on? Now I must escape. Dude, that... Somewhere I was buried, huh? Radio. Wait, what? Sorry? Hey, that's the old machine. I have no idea what to do with this. It seems to have a chain making it work. I better not touch it while it's in motion. So I'm being watched. An extremely dirty... It's extremely dirty and it stinks piss. So what do we do? Try to escape, huh? This is obviously locked. It's open! Yo, what is this? Door, it's locked from the other side. <gasps> Paper, audition. All the spotlights are on you. Now you're an actress. And your fans are eager to see you perform. Eyes are watching you from all directions. Live, the spectacle. Sometimes it's necessary to give your life for the theater. Complete your scene, and you're one step closer to becoming an actress. Fail, and nobody will miss a mediocre actress script. Alice chased the rabbit through the forest until she fell into its hole. She found herself in a room with a small door, but Alice wonders how she will manage to get through it. This is a challenge she still needs to solve. What the hell? Dude, so I'm like in some like witch trials, bro. Bruh. I have to go through this? What do I do? Space? Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh no. Okay, that was not hard. Guess we could save. Bro, this is pretty fun though. Painkillers. What is this? It seems to be a kind of painkiller. Experimental. Reduction and combat of physical and mental distress. Increasing serotonin and noradrenaline levels to combat mental distress and stabilize the individual. Along with other substances, rectified. For mood stabilization and anxiety relief. Okay, we kind of get the gist. So I guess if shit starts happening to us... Locked. Just pop one of those bad boys and... Oh, crap. Was I supposed to go through here or no? Bro. Oh. It's locked. It's locked. What is this? Script. The rabbit seemed restless, euphoric, frequently checking his watch as he ran through the valley of uncertainty. After crossing paths with Alice, 
His instinct was to run faster and faster. The more he ran, the more distorted the sound seemed. The more distorted his surroundings appeared, until in the blink of an eye, an obstacle appeared in his path. Only the rabbit's scream echoed and could be heard by Alice. Soon a lesson she had learned. When a fragile body has to run, it can only bring more obstacles. Okay, so... No running. What the- Alright. So now we're back. We run, I think this thing collapses. So we'll just walk it. What the- What the fuck was that? Alright, we just walk it. Ooh. I already survived. Okay, so one. Five? What? Oh. What is that? Selected small key. There's another piece of script stuck on the door. Alice found herself trapped in that world, devoid of faith. The sky was falling. She looked all around, but her key had shattered into pieces around her. Her hand had been cut by the first fragment, leaving a bloodstain, followed by a more intense pain from the second fragment that fell near the first one. Her escape was right in front of her, while she was consumed by hatred and suffocated by the fragments of her key that seemed to mock her situation. Was it delirium or just a frenzy of madness that sighed from that place? The door is locked, looks like it has a code. One, four, five, seven? I mean... Seven, five, four, one? Four, five, huh, huh? So five, one, seven, four. Seven, one, five, four. Oh my god. Four, five, one, seven. Oh my god, we did it! Oh, I survived. Why are we back here, though? Oh, sh**. Alright, let's just save the game. Bro, you know what's crazy? is like... I think there's like a thousand possible combinations with that lock. That's kind of crazy I got that. I wonder if I could go back in here. So I went through that door, came out of this one. Now for sure, this is probably another one. It's locked. Why? What is in here? The lock is missing the outer part. I might be able to unlock it if I can reach inside. Reach inside. Where does this lead to? There seems to be a power box on the left. Huh. Switch. It's not working. Is there like a generator or something here or something like that? Power maybe? This door's closed. This little door. Closed. I go back here. Oh. Can I go in here? What the hell? Hold on, wait, can I go back in? Okay. Yeah, we read that already. Oh my god! I didn't think I could go in here, what? It's full of old papers and documents on it. I can't read much. There's a photo of a girl tied up with a gun to her head. She looks devastated. There's another photo of a girl tied up with tape around her arms and mouth. Why are those monsters doing this to me? 
I need to set up to get out of this place. What else could I? Just some old papers. Anything in here? Locked. Alright, let's try to... Locked. What? Do I have a key, maybe? Does it work? Maybe I can use a key for that. Oh shit. Screwdriver. Why the hell would I need a screwdriver? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh there we go. Collected machine. Machinery room key. Okay, there has to be more stuff here, right? Machinery room key. So it has to be this door here, 100%, right? Okay. No. It's not. So it leaves this door here. There we go. Whoa, bro. Machine. It doesn't seem to be broken. The chain is missing. It's very, very rusty. It seems like it hasn't been working for years. Alright, so now I need to find a chain. Like, bro. There's a wire mesh blocking the way. It looks like there's a camera on the other side. Well, duh. Is there a wire mesh down here, bro? So, Hail Mary, there we go. What genius. No, okay, so the screwdriver got stuck in the gear. Okay, but I have the chain, right? Okay. So we now have the chain. We go put it in this thing here. Boom. Okay, inventory. Take that, use that. Sweet. So, um, so that works. Oh shit. This work now? Beautiful. Oh, what the hell, bro? Nope. Nope. No, I'm too, I'm too good. Too good at it. Oh! I'm too good at it! What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Get the fuck out of here! Let's go! See, okay. To be continued. Thanks for playing. Did you enjoy it? Feel free to share your feedback. Alright, so that was pretty fun, actually. Uh, it was like a uh, Saw vibe sort of game where you had to find the clues and, you know, do puzzles and stuff. It was pretty creepy. Uh, definitely not the scariest game ever, but I had fun. Fun little playthrough. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please 
keep it a likey. Love you guys. I do this stuff for you and for myself because I enjoy it. See you guys on the next one. Peace.